take you through the 716 in two minutes today. If your kids go to Buffalo Public Schools, they will still need to mask up, at least for the rest of the week. The district's medical advisory team is recommending Buffalo Public Schools keep the mask mandate this week for schools and public transportation. The school district's medical advisory team says they'll look at COVID data again on Friday to determine the mask status going forward. But all new for you this morning, you no longer need a mask or a vaccine card to get into a show at Shea's Performing Arts Center. The theater's website says it's following guidelines from Erie County and the CDC, but they strongly encourage you to still wear a mask in the venue. All staff will continue to be required to wear one. Just two weeks ago, Shays expanded its vaccination requirements to include younger children, but that is no longer in place. And happening today, McKinley High School students will return to the classroom nearly three weeks after a violent attack on school grounds closed its doors. But the Buffalo Public School District isn't bringing everyone back at once. Instead, the district came up with a phased approach where each grade will return on a different day of the week, separate from one another. This will take place through next week. There's also going to be some increased security on campus. Aaron, tracking weather for us this morning. That's that's right, mostly cloudy skies today. Temperatures will be in the low 40s. Little rain and snow arriving later today. Just some light precipitation. Winds, though, gusting around 20 to 30 miles per hour. Tonight, early snow showers, otherwise mostly cloudy with lows in the mid-20s. Tomorrow, temperatures will be in the 30s with some snow late in the day. Thursday, a chilly day, partly cloudy in mid-20s. Friday, low 30s. 40s on Saturday, near 60 degrees on Sunday with some rain showers. We're still in the 50s on Monday. As far as additional snow totals are concerned, this is from Wednesday night through very early Thursday. About 1 to 3 inches of snow expected, so a slower morning commute expected on Thursday.